Over the past 25 years, we've seen Canada, the United States, and Mexico increasingly coming together. There is a friendship of values and a value of friendship. I'm tremendously optimistic. Yes, there are shifting plates in global trade and power. There always have been. But we shouldn't accept that this is a zero-sum game, with North America getting a smaller piece of the pie. There are overwhelming reasons to feel outright optimistic, more outward-facing, not less. I see tremendous opportunities for new partnerships and new markets. Indeed, as David Petraeus and Bob Zellick have called it, the North American decade. The North American economy has doubled in size in the last 20 years. A lot of this was driven by our trade agreements and by increased cooperation. I can say with great pride that Canada steered through the global economic storm more steadily than any G7 nation. And Mexico is going through an incredibly exciting period of reform. Energy is the fuel in our engine, both literally and economically. As recently as 2011, the idea of North American energy independence was still just that, an idea, a theory. And now we're projecting self-sufficiency as soon as 2030. Blessed with natural resources, I believe we have a responsibility to make the most of what we have, including building pipelines like the Keystone XL pipeline. To conclude, I believe that North America can be the greatest continent on earth if we work together. If we work together with the spirit of values and dynamism that we're known for, we have the potential to be even greater and even stronger.